Oh boy. So guys, as I'm speaking to you right now, Enugu State is on fire. You understand? The police officer have actually offended Samonikba, which has prompted Samonikba to declare a lockdown in Enugu State. So hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time coming across any view on this channel, I want to encourage you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also turn on notification bell icon. So when we next we drop new video on this channel, you'll be among the first set of people to get the notification. So Samonikba is very angry, you understand? He's very, very angry right now. And with that anger, he has not declared a lockdown in the stand in Enugu State. And a lot of people will be asking, why did he declare this lockdown? What actually happened? And what incident happened in Enugu? You know, like I told you, Enugu is actually on fire right now because they are in actually in a massive state of confusion. And this massive state of confusion is the police officer that actually caused it because police officer arrested, detained over murder of Enugu musician. And you know, some money part don't look with the Igbos and this, you know, the, the Biafrans and probably maybe this person is part of the Biafrans and you know people that are fighting hard to see that the Biafran actually start and is now hearing that police actually murdered you know him yes. so Professor Monipa now come out and stated that the entire former Enugu state will be under lockdown on Tuesday 29 10 2024 this day will be used to hunt the killer of this innocent man enough is enough so those killers of this innocent man are now in trouble like that, in massive trouble because they think maybe it's on um, this thing that Monica and the, the Biafran Shun is a place where you can just come and mess with them. No, so Monica is trying to prove it that is the, the separation of this Biafran will make it easier for them to fight insecurity because right now, Samonipa now is now going after these killers because they cannot go scot free after doing committing such a thing. So, Samonipa still went on to um to make a post saying the terrorists have murdered their sleep in Enugu accidentally discharged and redoed with bullets you understand what you mean by you have, you have murdered their sleep that they will hunt them till they get them and when they get them the kind of punishment samonika is going to give them only god knows what will happen so samonika went on to declare that 29 then 2024 in your son of this month it will be a lockdown in any state and why they are doing that lockdown is just for them to be able to hunt and fish out those people who actually kill this um, Enugu musician. So, um, Samonipa also went on, you know, and to drop more updates concerning Mazin and Kanu because, you know, earlier he only gave the, um, this thing, the federal government 72 hours to release all detained, you know, uh, people who are fighting for Pierre France, you understand? And Nandi Kanu is part of them. Mostly, he already talked about Nandi Kanu. So, he dropped a video and update on a live section signing it and i'm going to play the video for you guys to watch right now and observe everything he actually states so that when you guys are going to the comments you share the comments from you will have gotten all the information and before that i want you guys to still be patient because there still remain one update i still want to put for you guys so watch this video and come back for the remaining details and explanation to be determined by those who don't understand who you are and how you reason you are finished that is why africa can never ever be developed never it's not the fact that they are coming and taking away our resources that is by the way the key thing is the way we reason our brain is the problem the way can you tell me that somebody went to a university well read well versed eloquent very erudite and that person will come out to offer what they may seem as a credible defense of one nigeria and I keep asking them, on what basis are you defending Nigeria? Did your ancestors create Nigeria? Is Nigeria homogeneous in terms of value system, in terms of even education, in terms of religion, in terms of culture, in terms of what? Tell me. Tell me what should make Nigeria great one day. What is it? Oh, perhaps terrorism. I forgot. In order to ensure... Please, I'm, I'm, uh, I, I hope that people are not, I'm lecturing this evening. I hope people are not um, going to get tired because I want to teach this is very, very important. Britain crafted, or should I say set up what they call the Willing Commission to discuss or look at the plight of the minorities in the East, not in the West, not in the North, because they understand, I'm just trying to let you understand how far they went in order to destroy us. 
It was cleverly planned. Britain understood that divided the fall. Britain came and said, we are setting up the Willing Commission. Uh, the remit of the Willing Commission is to look at how Igbo people are treating Ibibio people, Ifik people, Ijo people in the East. That was why they set it up. Nothing in the West, nothing in the North, nothing. But in the North of Nigeria, where the Fulanese are a minority, in the north, you have over 200 tribes and ethnic groups in the north. I said 200, over 200. Even in Sokoto State, it's not just Fulani and Hausa that are in Sokoto. There are other ethnic groups in Sokoto. Britain did not set up any commission to look at the plight of the Bachama people, the, the Biras and all the rest of them. No, 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 no. Despite the fact that they had Fulani MS imposed on them, no, 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 Britain did not see that. No, 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 of course not. There was no minority commission in the north. Britain came to the south to set up a minority commission, tried to remind us, oh, you are from Ibibio, you are from Anam, you are from Efik, you are from Ejo, you are different from Igbo. That's all, that was what they, because they realized that if these people can forget there are differences, of course, that is known because we are all Igbo people. I keep saying it. That is why you know that God is miraculous. Shuko Kikabi, I'm a wonderful God. You know, I don't know. It's like a code. This Biafra we are pursuing is like a code. One day you discover one thing. The next day you discover another. Until we discover all the codes, we cannot be free. What am I talking about? Do you know that funny enough? All the states that they created and they called it South South. In all of them, there are indigenous Igbo people in all of them, including Bayelsa. There are Igbo people everywhere. There are Igbo people, as, I don't say, I don't, I, don't, I don't mean those trading in Calabar. Or in Oron, or in Ineket, or in Ekote, you know, you know, you know. I said indigenous. They are part and parcel of Benue State, part and parcel of Kogi State, part and parcel of Edo State, part and parcel of every state, the, the so-called South South, oh, there are Igbo people everywhere. If you look at the map that they claim today are Igbo people of the five states, you see it's very, very tiny and very small. That is to intimidate you into submission. Any day you rise up to ask for Igbo people in Benue State, they complain. Igbo people in Kogi, they complain. Today they held a Hanes and Igbo meeting. Should I say election? To elect a new Hanese president, which is why the election is illegal. It is illegal, and I'll tell you why it's illegal. Igbo people in Benue did not vote. So I believe you guys watched that video and saw everything that Monika is actually working hard to see that all the Biafran and this agitator that they actually, you know, arrest and put in the hands of detention uh will be released you understand and you know he has already given this um nigerian government that on this in the next 72 hours that they should release mazin namdekano or else is going to a lot of things is going to happen in nigeria and you know one major thing that has been baffling me is that namdekano's lawyers have been complaining a lot you understand because now like, if anything should happen to namdekano i think nigerian government actually want to set war upon nigeria because now the Kano lawyer complained a lot that the last time they set their eye on Mazin and the Kano was on the 24th September. And the, the same lawyer, Lawyer Okpada, actually came out on this month, October 24th, to complain that this is exactly one month that he set his eye last on Mazin and the Kano. So I don't want to waste your time. I don't want to put more further explanation. I want you to take your time and watch this video and observe everything Samanik actually said. My fellow cabinet members of the Biafra government, Honorable Ministers, Head of Department, I welcome all of you today. Without wasting your time, I would like to let every one of us here to know that the impunity of the Nigeria state is coming to an end by various decisions and various steps and measures that this government will take in order to protect, defend our land, protect our women and children, and our properties and lives. For this reason, Nigeria have represented anarchy, criminality, evil, corruption, especially in Biafra land and against Biafra people. We have seen and witnessed 
several and thousands disappearance of Biafra people where they are kidnapped from Biafra land and taken to far away northern Nigeria and other parts of Nigeria and locked up, imprisoned, without trial, without any justification. And for that reason, the Biafra government will be taking a very decisive steps and decision today in order to bring that impunity to an end. On this note, I am moving a motion this afternoon without wasting your time, a motion to give 72 hours to the Nigeria terrorist state to return every single Biafran that has been kidnapped from Biafra land and taken to somewhere in the northern Nigeria and the southern on the western Nigeria and beyond for them to be returned back to Biafra land with immediate effect. In addition to this, failing to bring back any Biafran and all Biafran that have been kidnapped in the name of arrest or with whatever nomenclature, after 72 hours, we will evict every judges that is not from Biafra land, residing in Biafra land. We will also lock down the entire court that represent Nigeria. We are going to lock down the Court of Appeal, you know, the Judicial Court. We will lock down the Court of Appeal, Orca Judicial Court. We are also going to lock down the Court of Appeal, Enugu Judicial Division. We will lock down the Federal High Court in the entire Southeast to start with. After that, we will proceed to the South-South. We will also lock down the entire National Industrial Court in the entire Southeast and South-South comprising of Biafra. After this, we will move to customary court. So anybody that is in this court and you are not a Biafran, you are serving, you are sent or posted to Biafra land to come to Biafra and preside over any case. Believe me, after the, after the time that we are going to be voted for today, after that time elapses, your security will not be guaranteed. Our demand is very simple. From Mazinam Dikano down to the lowest person must be transferred to Biafra land with immediate effect. We will begin to correct this impunity on the issue that when somebody is alleged to commit a crime, there is a jurisdiction. If you claim that somebody committed a crime in the Southeast, as you have given them, the person must be tried in that jurisdiction in the Southeast. Somebody cannot be abducted from the Southeast, sent to Northern Nigeria, where he will be denied access to justice, he will be denied access to lawyers, he will be denied access to everything. You lock the person up, where the so-called crime were committed in a different region, that is ending today. The Biafra government will be voting on this particular issue I have mentioned. So, my fellow cabinet members, as a government, it is a, it is a priority for us to protect the interests of our people, to give them justice, fairness, equity, which Nigeria government have denied them. On this note, I move a motion to give 72 hours to every judges of the Court of Appeal in Oware, every judges of the Court of Appeal in Oka, every judges of the Court of Appeal in Enugu Judicial Division, every judges of the Federal High Court in the Southeast and South-South, every judges of the National Industrial Court in the entire Southern region. If you support this motion that the Nigeria government is giving 72 hours to repatriate and return every Biafran that is being detained somewhere in the northern Nigeria and beyond. After 72 hours, these judges must vacate, must vacate Biafra land with immediate effect. If you are for this motion, please, can we see your hands up? And uh, the media team, can you put everybody on the screen so we can be able to see the hand before we go into our electronic voting that is not available at this point? Thank you.
So I believe you guys watched the video and got everything you can see. Samonipa is somebody who is fighting hard for the beer France. So he needs support, you understand? He is our prime minister. So we need massive support. Let's give him massive support during this time. So and finally, Samonipa still went on to his verified Twitter page to make some comments. He said, So finally, this idiot now believe that beer France are now being forced to sit at home. It took him three years to know beer France are not being forced. So he actually attached a video. He attached a video to it. So I'll add that. I want to I want you guys to watch that video. Observe everything that actually the man actually said in the video because Monica actually referred to him as an idiot. So thank you for watching this video to this particular point. My name is Scenario of the way we we'll give you guys back to updates concerning what is going on both in the um, political aspect and anything concerning politics. And we are fast and reliable in doing that. So thank you for watching. Have a great day. Ahead. Bye. The reason why Samalepa is progressing, giving command, and people are listening, the truth of the matter, 80% of the people of the South is the Igbo believe they want them to separate Biafra is the only solution to this nonsense that is happening in Nigeria. It's affecting everybody. They believe. Not that Samalepa really have. Do you think these people are sitting at home? They are sitting at home because they force them. They are sitting at home willingly. Tell yourself the truth willingly. A reasonable government, what the reasonable government will do is to call all of them together. All the Southeast leaders come together. No time for joke. We, I have so many things to take care of. People are distracting the rest of us. If you want to go, when are you leaving? We'll give you two people, we'll give you people five years, six years to arrange, conduct referendum. All the people living outside South will relocate. Let them know. Let us discuss. Discuss it. That's what they want. Give it to them. Let them go. But all the Igbo must relocate to go. You, you, you can you, you can you can go and form your Biafra, the zoo. Where no nothing works, and your people still be in the zoo. Impossible. That's to me. That's the best solution to this problem. My name is the Thank you and God bless.